And we're back, everyone. Okay. <laughs> Having a lot of weird issues with nav. There must be just in how nav calculates. Um, and maybe it has to do with um, this. Let's go ahead and change this back to five minutes. And that probably has something to do with it. Because um, it keeps on rerouting. Like, it routed down this road and back up this one and back this way. And this way, like, the entrance to all these is right here. You, you can go around this way and back, there's actually a road right here that's not on the map, um, and go in Aldi that way. However, I don't know why you would go this around this way and then instead of just going straight down that way. This is the first time I've ever seen it do this. So I'm just gonna cancel the nav on this road right here once I get to it. But, let's go ahead and get started. Let's make sure it doesn't reroute us last second. The problem is it's also not rounding us, like look, like, what road am I on? Can it not... See, it doesn't realize it can get on this road. These type of problems will, for sure, like, that's the thing, there are people that are saying robo-taxi will happen this year, I'm like, I, how? Like, even if the car drives perfectly, like, I... You know, even if the car drives perfectly, it, it doesn't realize it's on the road. So those type of issues uh, with nav will prevent it from getting anywhere, you know? Like, I have to, like, make it go this way. I can't even enable it yet because it's gonna just go the wrong way. See what lane it gets into. So, everyone has their own decision. In my opinion, it just needs to go straight into the middle lane. And then it can go into the right lane if it really chooses to. Um, Keter lane is fine for where it's going. It does eventually need to get into the right lane, um, but Keter lane is fine. It does not need a blinker here. You got this guy walking through. The car obviously is paying attention to him. He's been blue all the way across the road until now. Not exactly sure why he decided to walk through the road instead of through the crosswalk, but whatever. Okay, we are green. So the cars on the right here will regularly run this light. I've never. Okay, why are we breaking? That's something to do with the lights. It had something to do with how it crossed the light. The same issue Chuck seen with his double double green light. Not exactly sure what's going on to cause that, but that might. I wouldn't call that a serious issue, but it could become one. Um, if it starts doing that at every light for some reason, it, it could become an issue. I'm not sure why it's doing that, but yeah. And normally I would go faster on this road, but since there's already cars up ahead, we're just gonna slow down anyway, so there's no point. bicycle um it was a little bit hesitant i'm trying not to have it freak out from i'm having to press accelerate because it's trying to reroute itself still oh um, it's also going 20 still which is the speed limit up until here which is 25 in which case i'm gonna go go this uh, i thought that was a pothole for a second there So I'll be curious to see, we have, have a greenway coming up, and I'm curious to see if there's any people crossing. Sometimes there are. See that jeep is breaking right there. There are no people, it looks like. It's common to see people crossing right here. Yeah, see it braked because those lights right there for the, um, for the railroad crossing, I guess it thought for a second that they were red. Or something like that. It's a brake all of a sudden. I'm trying to like be more aware of someone being behind me so I can kind of let it, you know, see how much it breaks. I normally have, my foot's always over the accelerator because I know when and where is most likely to break. Um, just in case. 
um, and I always usually give it a little tap to keep it from breaking too much. That also is an intervention which trains the car to... Okay, um, we're gonna have to cancel it on that road. But hopefully it stays... Okay, it didn't get in this lane like it did in a previous update. That's good. Oh, why is it... It braked really hard right there. I had to press the accelerator there because someone was behind me. Okay, first destination. And you can reroute automatically. Come on. I don't see... I don't know why... Okay, quick update, everyone. Um, so we're right here in Aldi. Um, my phone ran out of space, so it stopped recording partially through, but you saw where it stopped right on this road here. Um, really all we had is one more right turn, and it did beautifully with the creep limit. Um, this is a concern I had with the B-pillar vi vision, like not being able to see with the B-pillar. Uh, right now the brush has been cut back, but normally the brush is really high right there, and so you can't really see, I, even I have a problem seeing down the road until you creep really far forward, but it did great because the brush is cut down. Uh, and of course, we went down this road, no problem to here. But that, that was it. I just want to give a quick update. Okay, everyone, we are headed back home. Get out of the old, old parking lot. Let's we'll see how it's going to make this turn. It, it made it last time. It made it last, was it last weekend at this point? Last Monday, I guess. Um, the problem is this time, it thinks we're in the other parking lot. There we go. Okay, so now it finally rerouted. Is it going to let me enable it? Okay, it needs to stop because of this car right to the right. I don't see anyone coming from the left. Oh, oh my. Okay. <laughs> it made it. Not the smoothest thing in the world, but it made it. Now let's see that, that we have cars here. Let's see if it's going to try and go around them on the right. That was a common issue in the past. It, it needs to get memory because I, I know for certain it was able to see that there was cars in front of this car and it just needs to display them on uh, display them on screen like now it can see all of them all at once which is why it's not doing it now turn left onto Four Seasons Boulevard so that was a smooth com combo move very smooth so what it needs to do, and I'm going to go ahead and force it over. This is a perfect opportunity. It's clear to the right. It needs to get in the right lane. Not to mention, I can get past these cars quicker because the, they're stopped for this truck on the left. Um, you need to be in the right lane. It needs to be trained to do that now. This is the perfect opportunity to get in the right lane to get onto the highway here. If you watch my video from the rain, it, it was a close, fairly close call. I had to, I had to take over and floor it to get in front and properly merged onto the highway uh, just because the car waited all the way to the last second to get over that's an unreasonable like you have like the amount of times I've driven this route you probably have 25% chance or less to save maybe like 30 seconds tops like and so you have a 75% chance of not only not saving 30 seconds you're gonna like add substantial increase in chance of an accident and you potentially might miss the exit with entrance so you're just going to add minutes to your time um, at least five minutes of time to turn around and get back onto the highway okay so i wish it would turn the blinker on again here i turned the blinker on there that's what it should do like if it turned if it turned the blinker on the same time i did and got over it just like it did on its own, that would have been great. It, but it seems to have a real hard issue with blinkers. So it's apparently a really challenging issue to train a neural net to know when to turn the blinker on. And as opposed to that's low priority, why are we slowing down? Okay, do not slow down. There's a, this car. motorhome behind me you got that it's um i do wonder how that's going to change with single stack everyone uh it really does not do a great job merging onto the highway and higher traffic um they said with this update well the last few updates of course the 69 series of updates uh that it's changed the speed profile to get onto the highway 
and that's definitely noticeable. You will notice it once you, um, you know, if you're not having this update or once you receive this update, if you haven't already, uh, you'll definitely notice the change uh, in the speed profile. And it can be good, like on the entrance ramp this morning, and that was really smooth and it was great. On everything about it was great. But that profile, it needs to be adjusted. Like if it sees like, hey, there's a truck over here and then there's a car that's like moving past me and everything else, it needs to you know adjust speed based on what the cars on the highway are doing. It needs to you know, obviously safely get onto the highway. That's definitely gonna be a point of contention for uh, full self driving for sure. truck so I just kind of let the car do its thing. The great thing about autopilot is that it removes the frustration or at least a lot of it from getting stuck behind a slow car and just kind of just cruise. So I handle handling this turn well. Let's see no car from the right, no car from the left. We are good to go. Oh now it's a car from the left. It could have gone, but hey, it saw that car from way off, and like that thing is really timid right now. I don't see that thing is so timid. It's interesting, and it's not speeding up to 45 mile an hour. I'm not touching the accelerator at all. See, let's see if it breaks right here. Yeah, look at that. Look at that full brake. That's like a huge phantom brake. Every time it's like geocoded to brake right there. It doesn't make any sense. Like, it, 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 everyone in the comments, if you can, like, tell me, like, what you think, why that's doing that. I, I think a few people I, I've read today, um, they think it's because it's an intersection. It's, it, it's just breaking because it's an intersection, which is weird, because it's, like, it's never done that before. I mean, I've gone through that hundred, like, at least a hundred times, probably. Um, <laughs> the, the 69 updates are the only ones to ever do that. It's never done that before. So I'm not sure, I mean, it could be related to the new map data. I think I got that at the same time as the 69 update, but yeah, it's really interesting why it breaks like that. But anyways, everyone, uh, that's gonna be the end of this drive. Um, basically, uh, it's, I mean, it's not any better or worse, basically. Um, there's a few things that are better, a few things that are worse, but mainly it's, it's making turns. That is uh, gonna be uh, making unprotected turns are where the primary improvement in creep behavior is the primary improvement I've seen with this uh, consistently. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone, bye.